What is up guys? I'm Jay Dub. Today I was posed with a really interesting question and I've been working on it for a while and I think I got it figured out and I wanted to share it with you. So let's get to it. So I want to show you this. Um, it's really easy. Come up here to configurations. I'm doing this on my iPad so it's a little laggy. But you come down here to your beacon and you're going to want your beacon to look like this. Um, you don't necessarily need that one. That was for something else. Um, I'll just leave it checked for right now actually so you have your 15 minute beacon and at 16 minutes your beacon will stop if there's no activity on your repeater to make this work though you have to cut the on you got to cut it on now if you want other options to work you can come up here you can go to your tone this is your ctcss tone that you pick cut your tone on and that way, if you want a goodbye message or a hello message, um, or I think a K message even, those require that your tone be on. So you have to keep that in mind. But the way this works, and I'll show it to you real quick. We're going to go down here and I'm going to cut, we're going to simulate this. So we're going to cut this down to one minute and two minutes. Now remember this has to be longer you can't have this one at one minute and this one at two minutes because it'll it'll never have an activity because this beacon will go off before the timer finishes so or after, without the timer finishing so keep that in mind but right now we're set our beacon will go off every minute so let me get a radio Let's see i have our radio this is actually a radio i'm testing right now and i've ordered a couple of them so Hopefully this beacon goes off here in a second and I can show you what or how this works. There's our beacon. Now, let me come back in about two minutes and I'll show you this thing. And then uh, this little BTEX here will go red. And you'll see that once it's red, I'll have to re-trigger it with the radio to make that beacon go off again. All right, so you just heard our beacon go off here in a second. You're going to see this BTEX go black or go red. It's black right now. As you can tell, you're going to see it go red here in a second. And there you go. You saw it go red. Uh, that, that's once it's red, this thing will not play. It won't go off every five minutes or every 15 minutes or one minute, whatever you have it set to. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine back to a 15 minute timer, maybe. There it goes. Like I said, laggy when you use it on an iPad. Not It's not that bad when you remote into it from a computer. It definitely doesn't like the iPad. So 15 minutes, and we're going to run this one back up to 16. So just for another, another look at it. Our beacon will go off every 15 minutes and every, if there's 16 minutes with no activity on the repeater, then the beacon will go red and it will not go off. And our date and time over here will go off at the top of the hour, every hour. Now, a cool thing, feature about this too, is if someone comes across Zello, I believe that it's going to, that you're going to see that our beacon will go back to black. So let's test it out without the airport kicking in on us. WRUJ544. And there it was. I came across the Zello and our beacon is now back. So every 15 minutes that will go off again. Well, it'll go off 15 minutes unless there's more activity. All right. So you can see our beacon is red now. Um, I, I'm not sure if I caught that. I think I might have caught it. It happened pretty fast for me. Um, I didn't want to have you know a long video just sitting here staring at y'all, but I'm going to take this camera here, or take the radio. I'm going to key it up. When I key it up, you're going to see these bars up here are going to jump. When the squelch tail of the radio comes back in, this should go back to red. So let's try it out. WRUJ544 monitoring. 
And as you can see, our cuckoo bird went behind the shutter. Our beacon is going to go off. If you have it set to the 15 minutes, it's not that fast that it'll come back on. It's just because we're at a one minute. Um, but our bar shot up and our BTEX is now black. This beacon should go off twice for a one minute. If you do 15 minutes and cut it off at 16 minutes, it'll only go off once before it cuts off. But because it's going to beacon every minute and it has to be quiet for two minutes, it's going to go off twice, if, if that makes sense. So I want to show you guys this. It's a neat little feature to make your beacon not go off 24 hours a day. If you've got your stuff on a solar setup, then it'll really help, you know, save some battery power and stuff like that. So if you like the video, go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And like always, take someone outdoors. Are you ready for the battering ram? Yeah. Let's do it. Here it is. The battering ram. All right, Sissy, you ready? Yes. Let's do it.